Just real quick before the video starts, I wanted to say thank you for 500 subscribers. It's insane to me how fast I went from 400 to 500. To show my gratitude to everyone who did subscribe and commented under my videos. I'm going to give away this CGC9 Pikachu card. Um, this is the promo for the Scarlet and Violet pre-order over in Japan. And just with so many other giveaways that I've done, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like this video and just comment below your favorite pull of, of this video. And I'll draw the winner in one week's time. And I'll announce that on my YouTube community tab. Alright, on with the video. How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here. In this video I'm going to be unboxing this Raging Surf booster box. Now admittedly, I'm pretty late to this booster box. In fact, I'm so late that the cards that are in this set are gonna be released next week. Um, there already have been pre-release openings, so all the cards you see in here will be featured in Paradox Rift for, well, it's the upcoming English set. Um, I'm trying to open that next week for next week's video, um, but anywho's, um, I guess it's still cool to open this one because we do get a, uh, a little bit of a preview of what we can expect to maybe pull in in the um, Paradox Rift opening. There are a lot of cool cards in here. I think the, the main cards that I really want is I want to pull Rika, the full art for Rika, the special illustration. All right, we have to do this one. The special illustration rare for that one, or secret artware as it's called in Japanese. And then also in terms of artwares or illustration rares, um, I really want to pull the um, the Groudon. The Groudon illustration rare looks really, really cool. So I definitely want to pull that. But anywho, let's start it off with this first booster pack right here. It's been a little while since I've opened Japanese booster box. The last one I opened was Pokemon 151. Um, the Japanese variant of of that set. Uh, I've opened a ton of it in English though, though for now though I am done with Pokemon 151. Um, I did get what I wanted mostly and well I did I did pull the Charizard. So that's probably what you want to pull from from Pokemon 151. That's the best card you can pull. And the other ones I'm missing I'm just gonna buy. Straight up as singles. There's no real issue here. Parasol Lady. Um, this is the card you want to pull from Raging Surf. Of course, female full art trainer. Always crazy expensive. You have an Absol and nothing. Just a colorless energy, I do believe. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That was really awkward. Mustn't open the packs like that anymore. We have Larry. I do believe his name is. Let's see what we can get here. Nothing in this one. We got a nice looking Gengar and we have a, what is this, Glorious Cape or something like that? Interesting, interesting. I'm kind of missing, like I'm kind of, I've kind of missed opening Japanese sets because they're so much fun to open because you don't get that much fluff in like the booster box and packs. You get five cards and then that's it. I feel like that's, that's much more, much more handleable than than like nine cards in a in a pack or ten. It's super super cool to just have these these um, these packs with these little cards because you can also go through them very very quickly. For a if I open a booster box an English booster box, it always takes takes a little longer. Oh here we go we got a bombardier I think this one is called. Nice our first double rare from Raging Surf. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We will see this card. Once again, we will see all of these cards, I'm pretty sure all of them, in Paradox Rift. You know, the upcoming upcoming English set. And then also um, some, if not all, Japanese cards from the other two expansions. Um, what is it? Future, Flash, or something like that? Forgotten the names. I'm probably not going to open those because the opening or the booster box. Oh, nice, a Zekrom. That looks very cool. Got a nice Zekrom here. We've got Rika. Hopefully we can pull her. So yeah, I, I'm probably not going to open those two sets or either one of those. Um, even though the future flash looks really, really interesting, really cool. With Paradox Rift right around the corner, I don't really see the point of opening a Japanese booster box of that when I can just open Paradox Rift instead. And I, ooh, we have a first artware. Okay, this is the Minior, I think this is called. 
Really, really cool looking. Okay, this is this is also a really cool artwork, so I'm happy we pulled that one. Okay, let's have the polls like this and continue on. So that's our first art rare. Um, for Japanese booster boxes, you were actually promised certain polls. Unlike English, unlike the English sets, um, for Japanese booster boxes, if it's not a high class set, you usually promised um, three art rares and then one super rare or better. You know, could also be a hyper rare, which is usually reversed for. Well, in Sword and Shield era, and I do believe Sun and Moon, it was reserved for um, Rainbow Rare cards. But for this one, it's it's super rare or special special art rare in this case. Let's see. Either or. Either or would be nice. Technical Machine and a Cyclozar. And a Cyclozar. I really, really do hope I can pull the I can pull the Groudon. The Groudon is is the card I really want to pull. Because that one looks super stunning. Also, I guess there's also the Yveltal in here. The Yveltal also looks really, really cool. We got a Happy Fanpy. Very cute looking. We got a Thievel. And another Colorless Energy. I do hope that is the correct term, the correct name for that card. Okay, I do believe this one will have uh, another art rare in. I can, I can feel it. I can feel that this one has another art rare. Let's see. Ooh, it's a secret. It's a secret rare or our super rare. Okay, let's see what it is. Yo, it's a Garchomp EX. I'm not mad about a Garchomp. Very, very nice. Yo, the Garchomp is super cool. Here is our super rare for for this box. Yo, I'm not mad about pulling a Garchomp. This is looks this looks really cool. Um, I think a lot of people have pointed out, and I think I kind of agree. I'm not a fan of these crowns of the um, terrestrialized Pokemon. I think they would look much cooler without the crown and just have their their like effect as it is. Just remove the crown would look a hundred times better. But yeah, this is a this is a nice looking Garchomp. Very very cool. Okay, well that was our super rare. But as I've said, for Japanese booster boxes, the pulls are basically promised. So what we can still expect is two more art rares and I think three more EX cards. Um, one of which might be a textured EX card, not a super rare, just a textured EX card. So let's see, this one has a Palkia. Very cool. I kind of love to see that that older Pokemon are getting to see some love in these in these sets. I mean, just look at the cover right here. Of course, we have a few newer Pokemon with the what is this Gimme Ghoul? And then we have here Tapu Tapu Coco, I do want to say. And then we also have like older Pokemon with the Jirachi and the Groudon. Um, this is probably one of my favorite pack arts, honestly, in 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 recent releases. This this actually looks really, really cool. I mean, but then again, any card art that features Gen 3 Pokemon is gonna be a plus in my book. Here we go. We have the Frostlass EX. Actually in a grass type. Okay, um, this is what I was talking about. This is like a kind of a textured EX card. Um, it is still just a double rare, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so we've pulled that one. We should still still get two more EX cards and then two more art rares. We're almost done with the with the first side. So let's see what we can get in this in this one right here. Let's see. Um, nope, just an Absol for this one. That's that's okay though. That's okay. Oh no, we still have one more after this on on that side. Okay, that's fine. Let's open this one up. Pull out is that damage? No, that was just a bit of bit of grime or dust or something. Got a Larry, got a happy looking Fanpy, got a Joltik, got a Rika, and we got a Scrafty. Okay, let's see what the what the last pack on the right side can do for us. Before we move it on to the to the left side. Um, one thing to to remember, I, I just looking at this box, I'm kind of running out of space in my in my cabinets for empty booster boxes because I I keep all the empty booster boxes, at least for Japanese ones. Got a Don Fan and a rare candy. 
And right now I'm kind of running out of space to put them. So I'll have to figure something out. I mean, I have something in mind that I want to do. But for that to work, I need a lot more booster boxes. So we'll see. We shall see. Okay. Let's see if we can pull the the art rare in this one. The second art rare from this booster box. No. Oh, it's another textured one. Okay. Um, we got a Hoopa EX. More than one. Okay, and we have the Chantel. I do want to say this one is... Oh, well. Nice. A second textured EX card. Very, very nice. We got a Plazzle. Very lovely looking illustration. Very lovely looking illustration. And a Zashian rare. Okay. Zashian and a nice looking Gengar. Let's see. The artware, the, the next few artwares have to show at some point, right? Or maybe we have a secret box that has two, two super rares. You know, that can happen, although it hasn't happened to me. Let's see. Fanpy, another happy Fanpy. Oh, okay. This is, this is actually a really good one. This is actually a really good one. This goes in together with the, oh, with the Golden Go. Um, this is actually the Gimme Ghoul, so I switched up their name. Also, just looking at the card set right now, um, Chantal does in fact have a full art in this set. I just didn't pay attention. Okay. She just doesn't have a, um, a special art rare full art, but she does have a normal full art. Okay. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, once again, it goes together with the, with the Goldengo. Um, unfortunately, we didn't pull that one. That would have been cool to show it off. Um, nonetheless, a really cool art rare that we have pulled here. And at the end there, a Ferrothorn. Okay, one more artware that we can get in this one, and then hopefully, hopefully we have a, a very special um, double super rare box. But only one way to find out is to open these remaining packs, eh? Nope, nothing for this one, just an Absol there at the end. Okay, what are the... Yeah, I said the Eveltal is really cool, just looking at it on my... On the screen here. Oh, the Aegis Slash, dude. The Aegis Slash would also be really cool. Because apparently that is a new artist that has previously done artwork and illustrations for for the Legend of Zelda franchise. So pulling that one and being able to show it off would be really cool. Here's just the normal Aegis Slash. Speaking of Aegis Slash, um, let me see what else is there. Cyclozar, Ferrothorn. Um, we pulled the Minior, Groudon, yeah, Plazzle, Minon, Mantyk, and Joltik. Yeah, I think the Groudon is is the one I really want to pull. Or the Aegis Slash. Either or I'd be very happy with. Either or. But let's see what we can get here. Not in this one, I do believe. Nope. We just have a switch at the end there. Just a switch. Come on, it has to show at some point. Um, we still get one more EX card in this booster box. One more normal EX. We'll see what that one will be. Could be a Tapu Koko, actually, Parasol Lady. It is a Tapu Koko. There we go. Nice. That actually looks pretty cool, man. Not gonna lie. HNCL, isn't that the same artist that did the, the Lucario from V-Star Universe? Or am I mixing that up with someone else? Or, no, I'm pretty sure this is the same artist that did the Lucario from V-Star Universe, and then coincidentally from um, Crown Zenith, of course. Very, very nice. Okay, got a Joltik here. Got a Flamingo. Another technical machine, and a Ferrothorn at the end. Okay. One more artware. Can we pull? I mean, we do have to pull it. It's just a question of when, right? It's just a question of when are we going to pull it? We are going to pull it at some point. Get a puzzle. We've got Chantal again. And a Cyclozar at the end there. Is that from Kravayo? It is from Kravayo. I thought the art style looked a bit familiar. Okay. Oh, I have to pay attention to some other cards, but I don't think... I have to pay attention. I don't think um, my favorite artist, Akira Igawa, actually illustrated something here. I'll, I'll pay more attention to the artists now. But I'm pretty sure she didn't. You know, any Akira Igawa card is super nice looking and definitely still my favorite artist. And even outside of Pokemon, 
they do amazing work. They've recently, I've recently pulled the, the Zoro from OP1. Oh, okay. One more EX card. Nice. We got five in total instead of the usual four. It's also a textured one, which is super nice. This goes together very well with the Guard Jump EX up here. And here's just a mini or again. Okay, very nice. Three textured EX cards. So that's five in total. Do we... I always thought it was four. Maybe we get five or six. Um, either way, we should still get one one artware. That that should be promised. Probably in this one. Let's see. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not in this one. Just another technical machine. Should be technical machine blindside. Um, two packs left. Let's open this one up. Second to last pack. Is the artware hiding in here? Or is the artware hiding in the in the last pack? Let's see. Got a Mantaic. Pharaoh Seed. Got a Gligar. And we got an Earthworm, I think this is called. Okay. The final pack. This should have our our last artware in. Unless something changed and we got five EX cards instead of three artwares. Um, let's see. This should have the art rare, okay, and the art rare should actually be, let's do it like this. So now the art rare should be at the last spot. We've got a nice looking octillery. Is that claymation? That is a claymation style octillery. Nice, nice. Got a ghastly. Got a Don fan. Okay, and we have the Yveltal, okay. See, the artware was hiding in the last pack. The Yvelta, this also looks really, really cool. Um, we didn't get the Groudon that I really wanted, but I'm still pretty happy with this box. Nice. Okay. Definitely the highlight is, is of course, the super rare. The Garchomp. I'm not too mad about this one. Also, this is, this is a really, really cool artware. If you pull, or if you have the Golden Go, it goes together really well with this card. It actually looks really, really nice. Okay, well, I guess that does it for this opening, though. If you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, go dislike the video, comment in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Um, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the sub button. You click this one first, and you click this video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace.